Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, doing my first deck tech today, so this is going to be fun. Several months ago when they did the heavy metal secret lair drop, uh, I uh, ended up getting that secret lair. Uh, and I have a like six video series where I made songs uh, off of each one uh, as if, you know, each of those cards was his own metal concert or something and what what that band would sound like. Uh, so I will either link it up here somewhere uh, and also link a playlist to those in the description of this video at the top. So uh, go check those out. That was a lot of fun to make. And uh, I want to play with these cards. So uh, Thrax of Mundar is uh this legendary creature uh he's kind of hard to play around uh in, in just like a deck like you can't just like stick him in a deck and it, expect it to go well you have to build around him so i ended up making a commander deck with him at the helm and uh, i'm going to kind of walk you through uh what i got going on there so uh let's go ahead and dive into it so let's start with the commander uh thrax Mundar is a 6-6 legendary zombie assassin with haste for four, a blue, a black, and a red. So a uh, total of seven mana. When he attacks, the defending player has to sacrifice a creature. Then whenever a player sacrifices a creature, put a one, uh, plus one, plus one counter on him. So the goal of this deck is pretty straightforward. We're going to hopefully cast the Raxum Undar early, start swinging, then between his attack triggers and us sacrificing our own creatures for value, we're going to make him huge and hit for a lot of commander damage. An upside of this deck that I think goes unnoticed a lot of the time is that he gets the counters when any player sacrifices a creature. Uh, in order to keep Thraxamondar from getting bigger, your opponents might choose to not use some of their own sacrifice outlets that would otherwise benefit them. Probably, obviously, the biggest issue with the deck is that Thraxamondar is seven mana. Not only would it normally take a long time to cast him, but if he dies, it becomes harder and harder to recast him. Uh, this makes ramp and never missing land drops incredibly important. Uh, ramp is harder without green, but we're going to make do okay. We're running 37 lands. Well, that's not really any more than I would usually run. Uh, with the help of good card draw and armillary sphere, we will probably never miss a land drop. Of those 37 lands, 33 of them are basics. This is in part to make sure our lands will enter untapped, but there's a more important reason that I'll explain in next Monday's video. Uh, if that video is out by the time you're watching this, I'll have it linked above. For more ramp, we'll be running Soul Ring, Wayfarer's Bobble, the four si signets that can fit in this deck, and uh, maybe most importantly, Burnished Heart and Solemn Simulacrum. Both of these creatures are all stars in this deck because, yes, ramp, uh, but also the added value of death triggers to either make Thraxamundar bigger or uh, other things that we'll get to here in a moment. Pitiless Plunderer uh, can also come in handy if he comes in early enough and uh, gets to stick around. Lastly, in the ramp department, we're running Ashnod's Altar. This is going to let us throw away any extra creatures we have to help them cast the Rexamundar uh, at least a turn or two early. As for some of that card draw I mentioned, you already saw Solemn Simulacrum, but two other great card draw engines on creatures are Muldrifter and Palace Familiar. Uh, while these aren't the only card draw spells in the deck, them being on creatures is only upside. We can attack with them early in the game, we can block with them if we need to, and when we don't need to block, we can almost always sacrifice our creatures on command. Demon's Disciple, Fleshbag Marauder, Merciless Executioner, and Playcrafter are great creatures for clearing the board to get those draws or make Thraxamundar bigger. It should also be noted that all of these creatures can also choose to sacrifice themselves if you have nothing else around or need to save something else for later. A few other useful spells include Village Rites, Bone Splinters, and Vision Skeins. Vision Skeins might seem like an odd choice, uh, but we need to make sure our opponents are drawing cards so that they can uh, keep playing things for that we will then make them sacrifice. That with two mana to draw two, at instant speed, uh, that shouldn't be overlooked. To create fodder for these sacrifice outlets, uh, we're creating a lot of tokens with spells such as, uh, well, Dragon Fodder, Siphon Flesh, and Siege Gain Commander. Let's talk about the bombs in this deck. We have Cauldron of Souls is a great way for us to get our non-token creatures back for added value. Dictate of Erebos will make our opponents lose things uh, when we're sacrificing our own things for value and Grave Betrayal and It That Betrays will let us steal our opponent's things that they're sacrificed. As the game goes late, 
we might be able to close it out with a Torment of Hailfire. So that's the basic overview on uh, what this deck is, what it's trying to do. Uh, the description of this video will also have a complete deck list so you can see all of the specific cards, not just the ones I chose to highlight here. Uh, and let me know uh, if you like this video. Uh, I have a couple other deck techs that I think I'm going to end up doing of some of my other decks. But if that's something you're you're curious about, you want to know about more of my uh, my decks, I have a lot of decks, especially for commander decks. Um, and then also if there's just like a cool card that you like, uh, then we can like, even if it's not a deck I actually have, and maybe we can uh, brainstorm and uh, come up with an idea and uh, I can help put some of the pieces there together. So let me know in the comments down below if this is the kind of video you like and maybe you want to see more of. And uh, yeah, if you're new, make sure you're subscribed and uh, magic related stuff on Mondays, music related stuff on Fridays. And uh, again, go check out all my songs I did for that secret layer drop. It was a lot of fun to make. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.